Hello everyone! Today we're gonna talk about a very important topic. We're gonna talk about the different ways Italians and Americans communicate. If you don't know me, I'm Italian. I've been living for the past two years with my boyfriend Brian, he's American. And just a few weeks ago, after reading some books, after doing some research, we realized that a lot of the problems we have as a couple, a lot of small fights, were related to the different communication styles of our countries, Italy and America. Not just Brian and Sonia as individuals. So let's get started. Generalizing, even though Italians are very spontaneous, when we talk to other people, we're not too direct. There's a lot of politeness in the way we communicate. There are a lot of like social rules we are not even aware of when we speak. In America, on the other hand, they say what they want, nice and clear. I don't want to say direct because direct seems aggressive, so it's not aggressive at all. Maybe Italian way of speaking is way more aggressive, but it's like easy to understand. I say what I mean. In Italy, we don't always say what we mean. Since this is a little hard to explain, I want to give you some examples. Real fights that we had in our two years together related to this communication problem. First example, we live in a share house. We have a, our own apartment, but we also share some common spaces like a bigger lounge and a kitchen. Usually there are a lot of people chilling at the common lounge. So they have beers, they have food, chocolate, a lot of things. And Brian and I, we're really busy, but sometimes we go and say hello. But we don't bring a lot of stuff usually because it's never planned. Usually it's like, oh, hi, how are you? It's nice to see you. And then we go to our apartment. Our housemates, since they're really nice, they always offer something. They always say, hey, Brian, hey, Sonia, do you guys want a beer? And to me, since I am aware of the fact that we don't always bring stuff, I'm always like, tend to say no to be polite. And Brian is always, yeah, I'll take the beer. And after a while, I was like, Brian, why do you always, always accept? Don't you think that might be annoying? And Brian is like, well, they asked me if I wanted a beer. This is what I was talking about. In Italy, a lot of times we're just like, hey, do you want some? And sometimes you expect the other people to say no because of some social rules. In America, like, do you want that? Yeah. If I don't want you to have that, I won't ask. Second example is how Brian gets frustrated sometimes when, for example, we're spending time with my family and we're having a lunch together, we're having dinner together. And my grandma or my mom are always like, oh, Brian, do you want some more pasta? And Brian is like, no, because he's full. But my grandma keeps asking every five minutes, like, are you sure you don't want some more pasta? Are you sure you don't want some fruit now? Are you sure you don't want some salami? Uh, so they keep asking. And in Italy, that's normal. It means that you really want to make sure that that person's okay, that that person's not trying to be polite and not eat a lot. It means that you care about them. But for Brian, at first it was like, if I say no, why do I need to say no like 10 times? What's the problem? Why are Italians so pushy? Third example is, um, we had a fight once. Brian and I take care about the chores, like 50-50. Sometimes, since Brian has more time, he does even more than me. Sometimes, if I really want the laundry to get done because like, I want some a specific piece of clothing. Oh, Brian, it would be amazing if tomorrow you could do the laundry. Sending a signal, but I'm not saying it directly. And for Brian, sometimes when I'm free, he's like, Oh, Sonia, tomorrow do the laundry. And I gotta know it. You don't need to give me the order, like, do that, because I will, even if you just tell me in a more polite way. And Brian's like, why do I need to play the politeness game with you? You're my girlfriend. I get that. I get that. I understand that. Like, the American way is more nice and clear. I like the Italian way as well, though. Maybe because I'm used to that and I know the rule, I know the game. And also, this is just me. I'm not sure there's no research behind this, but I Think that Italians like repetition more. Uh, when I speak with my mom or my friends, we end up repeating some of the same concepts many times and there's a sort of like good feeling in repeating some things. For Brian, he doesn't like repeating himself, he doesn't like listening to the same concept more than once or twice. If I cook something and he says that that's good, doesn't need to say it twice or three times or four times. He said that it's good for me when I like something like it's so good. Oh my God, this is so good. This is so good five times. And to me, to my Italian brain, when you don't repeat something, it means that maybe you don't really mean it. 
I would say that just the fact that I know about the different communication styles helps me a lot because now I understand a lot of the things Brian does. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. It was fun to share some of our little fights and experiences. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see ya.